In the world of contemporary glass, Yerji Hartseva is a beloved figure and a legendary figure. Throughout his 60-year career, through his work and through his generous teaching, he has redefined the way we think of engraving on glass. Using traditional techniques, he has opened new doors for young artists and for his art. When I came to the glass factory as an engraver, it was lucky the designer was an old man, Rudolf Schweder, very good designer, who would say the first information about Dominic Beamer what, and what engraving meant to the others, that it was a, the queen of all disciplines. Dominic Beeman was born 1800 in Harachov, it's the northeast of Bohemia, and he is acknowledged as the best engraver of all times, especially in portrait engraving. And he was a student of the uh, Academy of Fine Arts in Prague, so his uh, skillness of a sculptor who studied anatomy and drawing Everything is, you can see in his portraits. I mean, it's so sophisticated from the point of the technique of engraving, a copper wheel engraving. And uh, in the same time, it still is not overworked. It has a balance between this sophisticated and refined uh, finish, and you can still see the, the cuts of the wheel, if you go very close, you can see in the hairs and the, some details of the face. Uh, this is a portrait of Vladimir Kopetsky. Uh, uh, we studied together since 1945, and we used to teach together at the Academy of Applied Art, and he's still there. This piece I made uh, 95 for the Rakov Commissions of the Konig Museum of Glass. And I did this piece on a big lace. It's uh, rather big stone wheels, polished. And his face and his uh, personality gave, gave me the opportunity to work uh, very free. And I tried to catch his character, his way of painting and deep cuts. I believe the 60s everywhere in France and here and even in Europe, in spite of all the borders, that was a decade of new ideas. I made a plate called Town. It was exhibited in London and everybody was amazed that this is an engraving because just structured, structured, you know. And it was something new, and it was immediately the museum in Prague bought this piece. And I l left even the, the very simple uh, figurative uh, engraving behind for a while and started to do geometrical or expressive abstract engraving or cutting. It was again on the big wheel, huge pieces and deep, very deep carved. So uh, this was a total break with my, with my tradition. With the coins, to me, it's very uh, good because it's all very often portraits of people, of, of very important people. So I have, I have another opportunity to learn about them more, to, to be acquainted with them, to learn about the ideas and the activities. And, and then I am trying to, to do it like in, when I'm in graving class, to, to get it in a, in a very simple lines, to make a long story short, as, as I often say. So it's, it's a dialogue between two different techniques. It's a dialogue with uh, with the material I'm using, and it's always a dialogue with this thinking of the people from the past, and I like that. I went back to the to Dominic Piman and to, to, to the faces, to the figures, 
because this uh, became more and more important to me to express something about the human beings, about the feelings, about emotions, passions, and so forth. And of course, if you are going back to think about uh, the most important uh, ideas, so you can never pass the philosophers. You, you are always they are in the first row. And of course, many others also, musicians, writers, and artists, because they are always uh, expressing a kind of philosophy. Uh, my attitude to the portraits became more and more picture this basic ideas, the basic characters, the feelings of the, of, of the people. Like uh, when I did Kafka, it was to express not only him, his, his face, but the whole time he lived in. It was this 20th century, this awful time of uh, absurdity, and he was anticipating this in his uh, books and also uh, somehow you can you can find it in in, uh, in the features of that face. The same with Beethoven, his uh, solitude, his his strong wish for happiness, uh, uh, which was hidden in his, in a very severe features of his face. Uh, to me, the, the most important, and also messages to get messages. From the past, I would, I would pass on to the next generation. I think all, we are a link in a chain.